Hello YouTube, Nestor Productions right here, or as I like to call myself, Raider GFX. I'm here right now with another Photoshop tutorial. Just a little quick tutorial on how to do this really nice metal look right here, metal bar. First thing you want to start out with, well, before you start, just letting you know I'm a little bit under the weather, so you might want to, you might be hearing me cough every once in a while. Just ignore it. First thing you want to do is start a new project. <coughs> And um, you want the width to 1000 and your height as 300 and background contest as transparent. Okay, you want to start out by going to your shape tool and selecting the rectangle tool. First thing you want to do is click out and drag. Right now you're basically focusing on the height, not really the width right now, just how high you want it. And I'm thinking this is how good enough right there. Then just drag it to the middle. And then re rasterize your shape. Once you rasterize it, you want to hit Control T to mod it, to modify it. And just make sure this is the shape is exactly along the edge of the project file. And just double click when you're done. Okay. First thing you want to do is right click on the picture by shape one, not the pic not the words, but in the picture, right click and select all pixels. And then go to your gradient tool. And I set my gradient up to this. This goes from a kind of bright gray to a white. And you wanna select your re your reflective gradient. And you wanna go from the middle and drag out to not the very edge well yeah go ahead drag out to the very edge if you, that, that's okay and then once you've done that you can open up the editing box just double click on your layer and reach up this editing box first thing you want to do is give it a little stroke I like to put mine like at least like a one and then go to drop shadow this is important put your distance at zero and then your spread and your size is what you can mess around with but make sure you have your distance at zero because you don't want anything to be unbalanced because this is how it would be with your distance moved around you don't want that and then after you go to drop shadow you go to inner shadow and same thing put your distance at zero mess around with the choke and size but right here in the inner shadow is very specific you want to give it a little shine look which is what the white is for in the gradient because if you put it like around 30 32 you can see how it kind of gives it that little like shine light reflection right there which is the kind of effect you want to go for I just want to put mine a little bit more like right there it's perfect and then just this is to make it look a little bit more better you want to go to pattern overlay I will have this pattern in the description so don't worry about trying to find the pattern click on the graphite and then just mess with the size I say about 60% 63 then you go to blend mode and go to overlay and then right there you want to mess with the scale some more you don't want the things to be that noticeable like that you want it to be not that noticeable so yeah, right there, like about 13 is good right there. As you can see, you can't duplicate it exactly, but it's almost the same. And um, just a little customize. This will be good for like your YouTube layouts. Because if you can look at mine, I have this. Just real quick. Just customize it however you want. I have a specific font I just downloaded and I'm really in love with it. Right there. Kind of boxy look. I will have this font in the de download description too. For any of y'all that want it. Try to center it in the middle. Make sure it's a little bit bigger than the bar. Just double click. Stroke. Drop shadow. Distance about 7. Size about that much spread and then gradient overlay I guess I'll do black to red and reflected reverse 
yeah that's pretty much it nice little bar metal bar look right there use it whatever you want um, that's about it I'm out oh just make sure to um, comment on any other tutorials you might like you know I'm, I, um, I have spare time now I just want this channel to be more active but yeah that's about it um, just comment like subscribe that's about it